Welcome back, everybody, and thank you so much for spending some time with me. I am very grateful. We are in the home stretch of our Evil Genius 2 World Domination playthrough, and I think we are nearly there. This, this quite possibly, maybe, could be potentially the last episode of the van vanilla playthrough of this game. Uh, we're going to move on to the DLCs and the um, season pass and all of that after this, but uh, we are currently surviving the onslaught of Prime Lords, and we've captured them all, and now we get to see what we can do with them. So let's go through here one at a time. We've got Clara Jones. What can we do with her? Oh. See, I really want to put these people in the brainwashing station so that they can join us, but they might just be too tough for that. So we will start with Clara Jones and see how interrogation goes. <laughs> I love these posters, too. Just the, the minion here with the magnifying glass. That's really funny. Okay, so who's coming to get Clara? Oh, Iris. Okay. So Iris is going to investigate and interrogate Clara here. And we'll see what happens with this first one and kind of go from there. It would be awesome if we could have one of them join us, but we tried to have the blue... Okay, yep. She's done. Uh, stop. I could be useful. I don't. You're in a body bag. Okay, so. All right. Well, let's try again. We'll try with. All right. Maybe we can stop mid escort prisoner. I want to escort this prisoner. Where? Can't go to an interrogation chair, I guess. Shark Tank? Shark Tank? No? Okay, let's try this one. Fugu Furukawa. Try that. Okay, going over to the... Wait. Let's see, can we put her in the... In okay, yeah, we can put her here. Okay, so let's see if we can stop maybe mid-investigation and see how she's feeling. And uh, see if she'll actually join us. That would be awesome. Okay. Let's see. Capture. Interrogate. All right. Okay. Resolve. Morale. Oh. No. Any way you slice it, I could be an asset. Okay. I feel like we're just getting rid of these people when we could actually be using them. I'm not sure. This guy I can't do anything with. Um, escort prisoner. Huh. I survived the onslaught of the crime lords. I don't know. I don't know. I guess we'll put him in the shark tank. See how that goes. We've got some folks who just needed time to chill out. We'll release them. Then we've got one other crime lord. Yeah. Okay, well, we've got one more one more chance if this doesn't pan out for us, but we'll drop this this uh gentleman into the tank. He looks a bit elderly. Okay, into the tank. Okay, and he died too. All right. Well, I don't think there's any saving these people. So, last one into the chair. Except for this guy. Let's see, a hold capture agent. Okay, escort prisoner. Can't really do anything with him. It's not going to let me. Maybe we need to use a specific trap for this guy. Or maybe we need to do it as the evil genius. I don't know. Yeah, I'm not getting the option to actually put him in a trap. But, all right, well, we've got folks showing up in the base wreaking havoc let's see okay yeah i guess he's done too um yeah i think we'll have the evil genius come upstairs interrogate this last sir daniel sir daniel so if i just let him out i wonder what would happen Okay, just going to shoot at him. Okay. 
can we still can't do anything with him? Huh. Yeah, I don't know what we do with this guy. Let's see, the others had a crime lord designation. This guy's just Sir Daniel. I mean, he that's his name and that's what he, he does. That's who he is. He's just Sir Daniel. Okay, I don't know. Um, survive onslaught of agents. So we've gotten rid of the crime lords and we have <laughs> Sir Daniel. All right, well, I guess um, we're going to just make a, a separate containment unit for him. Um, Let's see here. Uh, let's put Sir Daniel. Let's put Sir Daniel right here. Prison. We, maybe we can squeeze in one. Can we squeeze one in right here? We can. Okay, so we're gonna put Sir Daniel in his own containment unit because he's he's a special prisoner. So we'll have, we'll have the minions build that. We'll put Sir Daniel in a special in a special box. He can watch all the people, all the other people attempt to sneak into the base. Oh man. Okay, so right now we're in the middle of surviving the onslaught of agents. Two of twenty. Oh my gosh. Yeah, I'm not going to say this is dragging on, but I do want to see what the end of the world here is going to look like. Uh, we maxed out our minion count, so we're just going to, I guess, extract information from everybody that shows up. And we can use some intelligence here on the world stage, because we'll be gathering even more. But yeah, after that, I'm not exactly sure, because we... Can we even do side missions, side stories? No, we cannot. Um, so yeah, we're definitely in the home stretch here. We can't do side missions or anything. All right, so our special containment unit for Sir Daniel is ready. Oh, I can't even put him in that one? I can't even move him? What is the deal with this guy? Oh, there's somebody in there. Okay, that's the problem. We need to empty these out first. <laughs> okay. We just have so many people showing up at our base right now. Um, so I see a pattern emerging here. So we've got crime lords that have showed up. We've got goons. We've got agents. I'm guessing the forces of justice will now all show up at some point, And we'll have to deal with them as well. Um, guessing that's what's going to happen next. So we will just prepare for that and not be surprised when that happens. All right, can we move Sir Daniel? All right, we need this person out of this holding cell so that we can move Sir Daniel. All right, we'll just try and uh, do the interrogation. Can we? No? Why? I can't do anything with him, really. Let's see, Sir Daniel, escort prisoner. Well, somebody else is in there now. We've got too many prisoners. Uh, let me take care of these prisoners real quick, and then we'll get Sir Daniel moved over. Okay, so we finally got this containment chamber cleared out enough. We should be seeing Sir Daniel escorted over here shortly, uh, and he can observe as people come and go. Um, but we've got another round of folks showing up here. We should probably have Iris engage with the people here, but let's see. Where is Sir Daniel? Where did he go? I had him on his way over, and now he's not here. Did he go back into a... No? Okay, so we lost him? Well, he was on his way over here. Huh. I don't know what happened. Um, yeah, I don't know what happened there. Oh, blimey. The game is up. Okay. Where is he here? Okay, so he finally made it. I don't know where he was. Um... Yeah, I have no idea. I have no idea what happened there, but it sure took a long time for him to get from here to here, 
It's just down the hallway. Yeah, I have no idea. No idea. Wow, we just... There's so many people trying to get into our base right now. Let's see, we'll jump back onto the world stage. I'm gonna clean this up real quick. Hang on. Oh yeah, they're all showing up. Okay, so this is Survive the Onslaught of the Super Agents. So like we predicted, we will make sure that we are brainwashing all the people we can. We're gonna need as much muscle as we can muster. And I think we will have the evil genius go down to the desk because the evil genius is just not, not that great at fighting. Not her bag. So we've got people all over the base. Oh my gosh. Pandemonium. We've got people over here just waiting to be put in containment units. We've got folks in the hallway dancing. Oh my gosh. Wow. Well, something went down there. I was too busy trying to figure out what was going on with um, our prison system, but looks like it. Okay, charge up void at the upper level. So we took care of all the... Well, that happened quickly. That... I guess we took care of them all. I, I don't even know. I don't even know. But we're going to charge up void at the upper level. So let's see. Launch the program. Charge up void. This guy's going to come over. It's charging up. Okay, the world stage looks good. Just about <laughs> have taken care of everybody that broke into our base. Main objective complete. Final assault on your lair has failed and demonstrated that no one is a match for your skill in strategy, tactics, or literally anything else. It's time to establish total control over the minds of humanity. They'll thank you for it if they know what's good for them. All right. I know what's best for humanity, and finally, humanity has accepted that. It's been an honor and a pleasure working with you. With me. For you. For you, of course. The utopia we're about to experience is my vision and mine alone. Okay. Eradicate anvil, hammer, patriot, saber, smash. Eradicate. Okay. Um, I'm guessing... I'm guessing that has to do something with our void machine. So we will make room in the prison area for others that may potentially show up while we're doing our void stuff. And then we'll do the void stuff. Uh, this is going to be crazy. Um, Okay, here we go. We're going to head down. We will come over here. All right. Fire void at the Anvil headquarters. All right. Level three. Let's see. Hammer District, Patriot State. So I'm guessing the headquarters are where the symbols are. Um, I think we'll start here. All right, red alert. Here we go. This is all we've been waiting for and building up to you for the past handful of episodes. We are firing the void device after the world has accepted uh, that we might know what we're talking about. And um, so here we go. All right, launched. Bring me a stapler. I want a trophy. The very best anvil stapler. A super stapler. They won't be needing it again. <gasps> Whoa! Wow, look at that. 
So the entire place went green. Wow, okay. Um, I guess that's what happens. Okay, so we will um, fire again at one of the other headquarters. Let's see, level three. Let's see the mess. It's time to simplify things. Uploading the serve void capacity 40. Level three. Okay. There must have been a cooldown time. So we'll try again here. Uh, we will fire at the hammer district next. All right. The machine is getting ready. Yeah, I like the second level. Just like very aggressively moving screens and things around. That's that's why I like that second level. Oh, here we go. Here we go. Nice. Make a reservation for me at the Hammer B and B. Of course, boss. What are your travel dates? Oh, never mind. I just want to make a reservation and then cancel. Just like I canceled the hammer. <laughs> so on the world stage, there should now be two places that are green. Wow. All right, just three more to go. Let's see. We should probably pick up a little bit more fuel. So that we don't run out of fuel to do our evil geniusing. Okay, so next... Let's see, we're, we've got a cooldown. Let's see, hover over device. Yep, okay. Capacity, level three. Just waiting. Just waiting. Available fuel. Here we go. All right, level three. We will fire at the Southern Smash Republic. Okay. I <laughs> uh, wonder if it actually shows when we do this. We've got the fire. We've got our awesome island. Oh, there's stuff. There's another island off in the distance. I didn't notice that. Oh, okay. And they were never heard from again. A fitting fate, don't you think? An elegant solution. All my solutions are elegant. That's why I'm in charge. Okay. Well, we didn't see the laser blast off from our base, but um, we'll appreciate just, we'll, we'll do a turnaround and appreciate our base one last time before we fire at the other two. Because at that point, there's really not a lot for us to do. We've successfully uh, smote, smited uh, all, the, all of those that would oppose us, so... Uh, I think we'll fire at the Patriot States next here. All right. Okay. Level three. Patriot States. Here we go. Yeah, this machine is awesome. And I would imagine if we played as the other evil geniuses, there would be, uh, they would have different machines. Um, just one from what I've seen in the concept artwork and all of that, there's definitely different stuff for all the different geniuses. So, do you smell that? It smells like a bonfire. So many records burning, so much ammunition going pop, 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 just like fireworks. <laughs> okay. Oh, man. Let's see, just one left. All right, well, here we go. Okay, we have just enough fuel, looks like, to fire one more time at level three. Um, and then that will be the last thing we have to do in our mission for a utopia. Let's make sure that we haven't forgotten to do anything. We've got, um, train mark, did we never train a martial artist? We did. 
I feel like these come back after a while. Um, data bank, technician. Yeah, we've done all of these things. Um, struct supercomputers. Yeah, we've done all these things. Uh, they must just cycle through every now and then. Completed a lot of missions. Uh, we gathered three pieces of loot from the world stage. Uh, we, we've got the block of ice that has a Yeti in it. We found a time traveling machine, which, um, one of the, one of my favorite lines actually, uh, when we acquired that was they say the time machine's broken, but it's still moving forward in time. So it must still work a little bit. I love that. Um, and then we found the sands of time, which, uh, I guess stop time. I don't even know. Reverse time. Uh, I'm not sure, but I suppose time-oriented loot items is applicable and very fitting for our science evil genius. We'll go to the world stage and watch this last giant bolt of green energy land. Such a shame. They'll miss out on Utopia. All right. Oh, we've got an achievement. Okay. But they'll have the Excite of Office Party. Send them a slice of that horrible white birthday cake. Office workers love that. Oh, main objective complete. Take control of a grateful world. Every human is connected to every other human. Their watches beeping and flashing in time with void signals. Run the upgrade project. Okay. Establish your golden age. <laughs> There we have it. I think we did it. We took over the world. That's awesome. Wow. Yeah, we'll let the credits roll um, for a little bit here. Um, I don't know. I'll, I'll probably let them roll all the way through. It's, it's nice to acknowledge the people that make these games. And uh, I, think, I think we'll just let these roll through. And then... Um, I think what we'll do is actually uh, talk about what we're going to do next, and that is jump into the Polar expansion. We've got a new Evil Genius, uh, and there are a handful of DLCs that have come out uh, for this game, and so we will look at those as well. Um, and I think there's a new um, Evil Genius base that we can explore, so we will do that as well. Uh, so we'll jump into that next, and we probably won't spend as much time doing kind of the um, this is how you build a prison, this is how you build a control room, uh, because we've already walked through all of that, and if you guys are interested in that and this is your first video, you can go back to the beginning and watch uh, just how we got to where we are and some of the strategies and tips and tricks that we learned along the way. Uh, there's still a lot to learn about this game, and um, we can probably be more efficient with it in a lot of ways. Uh, but yeah, there there is more to explore for sure. And the the new evil genius, I think her name is Polar, looks awesome. And it's funny because I had just uh, actually finished playing Resident Evil Seven, and one of the characters in that. Uh, ends up becoming infected and kind of gets covered in this white frost. And I thought that she looked a lot like the artwork that I saw for this new evil genius, uh, Polar. And so if you get a minute, 
Um, Resident Evil 7, I don't remember the girl's name that gets infected, but she, yeah, she gets covered in this frost and looks very similar to um, the evil genius Polar. So I'm going to start fan theory right now uh, that this girl from Resident Evil 7 is actually Polar in <laughs> Evil Genius 2. So I'm going to start that fan theory. I'm going to jump on Reddit right after this and get that one going. Um, but yeah, it's, uh, this has been a fun game. It, it was the, uh, the game I chose to kick off the YouTube channel with because I enjoy playing games. I enjoy base building. Uh, and like I said in the beginning, I love Despicable Me. Uh, I enjoyed playing The Sims um, for a long time. And this just felt like a, a good combination of the two. Uh, and loved the artwork, the art style, and uh, really appreciated the the effort and detail that they put into to everything. And those were fun things to explore and uncover uh, as the game went along. You know, each new... Um, Training, I think the training contraptions were some of my favorite. Just the different ways the minions got transformed into different things. The the scientists with the tubes of, you know, Venus fly traps and the martial artist sitting in front of a gong, just kind of centering himself. Just a lot of fun. Uh, so I do look forward to playing the DLCs because uh, just as a teaser... It looks like there's something like a Frankenstein monster, there's robots, um, submarines, new layer, all sorts of stuff. Uh, and uh, so I'm looking forward to that. There's also as if, you know, heat on the world stage wasn't something to consider. I guess the air conditioners and heaters come into play when you jump into the uh, ex extended content. Uh, and so we'll have to actually help maintain the comfort of our minions and workers and everything as well. So, yeah, we'll we'll continue letting this one play out. Um, but, it, yeah, it, it takes a lot of people to make a game like this. And this one was quite a few years in the making. The original had a really nice fan following. And from what I understand, if you played the original... Um, uh, you know, what I hear is that most people prefer the original if that's where you started. This is definitely a different game. There are themes that carry over, I think, from the first one, just from what I've watched online. Uh, I really appreciate the aesthetic of this one uh, and all the, the detail that they put into the modeling, the texturing, the, the islands, too, that these evil geniuses inhabit is just amazing to look at the the level of detail that they put into something that um, really doesn't get a lot of screen time, uh, but but yet they put a lot of detail into it. Um, and so I appreciate when companies do that, when groups of people do that. Uh, I know Pixar actually, um, they, they say, or they used to say, you know, we sand the underside of the drawers, meaning <laughs> you may never see the underside of your drawer, but you know what? We're going to sand it anyway. We're going to finish it out anyway, even though you may never see it or appreciate it. And I feel like that game, um, that this game really did that. They put a lot of thought into things that people may never even notice, but they did it anyway. Um, because I think, uh, I don't know, for me, it seems pretty clear that they had kind of a a really strong connection to this game. They loved the the intellectual property and wanted to trade it um, well. So, <laughs> I don't know. Having never played the first one, I really enjoyed the second one. And I hope they continue to make um, content for this and or uh, do an Evil Genius 3. Um, so, yeah, we will, we will say, yeah, thanks to all of these people for for helping to make this game. Uh, I've had a lot of fun playing it and we will move on to the DLC and the season pass. Uh, so check that video out next. Um, and I'm not sure what we're gonna play. I have an idea of what we're gonna play after we wrap up the um, season pass. 
and I want to focus a lot more on on story. So thanks for watching, everybody, um, and spending some time with me. I really appreciate it. Uh, and if you would consider tickling those like and subscribe buttons, it really does help uh, a channel out, especially one that is just starting like mine. Um, it, it helps get the word out, the, and it helps the Google al algorithm uh, when people are, are looking for content on the games that I decide to play. So it really, really does help. Uh, and as always, with each new subscription, that can of cram will be donated to a local fallout shelter. See you guys in the next one.